It's an order. In that case, gentlemen, let's edit. it. No more fighting, okay? Oh, you got it, James. Nice shiny green suit. You look like an oriental leprechaun. <laughs> you like it? I got it in Hong Kong. Home of the shiny green suit. <laughs> and therefore, there is no place for neutrality or a neutral settlement in South Vietnam. As I leave Vietnam today, there is no doubt, certainly in my mind, but that the Viet Cong will be defeated. And that this war will be won does involve, I think, very appropriately, as you have suggested, give and take. Well, I really didn't make that suggestion, sir. I'm sorry. The United States has no right to give. Why would Cronauer's voice be on this tape? I don't know, Lieutenant. To the Mr. Nixon, thank you for that concise political commentary, but I think I'd like to delve into something slightly more personal for the man in the field. How would you describe your testicles? That they're soft, but that they're shallow, but they have no purpose. <laughs> what oh are you saying, God. sir? They lack their physical strength. How would you describe your sex life with your wife, Pat? Uh, it is unexciting sometimes. Well, if you consider it a possibility of sex change, there is an operation that can transform Please you into a female me. great dame. Please don't do this to me. Very well hung chihuahua. Mr. Nixon, while you've been in Vietnam, it's rumored that you've smoked marijuana. Are you planning, sir, to take some of the marijuana home back to the United States? How would you do that? By plane, by helicopter, and also by automobile. Come on, now, take a deep do your mystery, because I know people love that. Uh, I said 